evening. This is my second testimony. And it's a testimony on a voice. A voice. Because of faith, I have found a voice. Because of being blessed by the Father, I have found my voice. By getting something out of a sermon, sermon or getting a statement out of the brethren and benefiting from the statement, I have a voice. Now, voice is a very important thing, such as a cry for help, communication, asking questions, or making a suggestion, or making a, a decision. But in order to make do the, all these things, you have to do all of them to pl please the Lord. Amen. And these are some of the things I like to share. Not too long ago, I couldn't say, say much. I couldn't say much of anything. I wanted to say something, but I was afraid that my health issues would get in the way. And somewhat I was living in fear that something would happen with my health. And it troubled me so because I heard so many good things in service. And it scared me because I was scared of messing up. But I wanted to say a lot of things about the truth, what well, I heard about the truth. Yeah. Yeah. And along the way, many disappointments came along the way involving such people, chances of losing my job, chance, chances of losing my social security. But only through the prayers of the brethren could I get through such a trial. But still, I couldn't bring myself to say anything about the truth. 2013, the speak will happen. The day where Brother Given and Sister June went off out of town to the revival. And the brethren found out I was allergic to strawberries, deathly allergic. I don't really remember seeing any anything because my eyes were swollen shut and my nose was burning up and my, my throat was swelling up. At that moment I know I could have died for the second time since the brain cancer. I didn't know that was what I was what was going to happen. I remember being carried upstairs and several of the brethren pray, praying over me that day and two of the sisters, Sister Debbie and Sister Logan, restored me to my health. Amen. I don't overlook that day, yeah. and I thank the brethren's prayers for it. I even set up the page group, The Truth Shall Set You Free, to give thanks unto the brethren, yeah. because I know for a fact, if it weren't for the brethren, that I wouldn't be speaking here at this pulpit. The group was up, and many good posts and quotes were made, but still, I didn't have much to say of anything until the day Brother Jonathan wanted me to come along to the Banner of Truth Fellowship. Originally, we were going to see my niece get married, but it didn't work out. So Brother Jonathan and I decided we were going to go see the Banner of Truth. I wasn't sh sure what to expect because I was doing a short thought and it was about six pages, about three minutes, and I didn't know what I was going to receive down there. But I remember being constantly re encouraged by the brethren down there and what, what was three minutes wound up being ten minutes. And I came back and I began to speak. Next year, then ne next year came the festival in Indiana. 
And I was told I was going to speak a sermon, Hebrews 3, chapter 2. And it was my first time speaking a sermon. And at the time, it was going to prove on me whether or not I can prove myself to preach a sermon. And I went down there, and I pre preached a sermon successfully. But it was only the beginning, Mark. When I got back, I went and did better about talking about the gospel, signing up, and speaking up from the pulpit. Then the second festival came up that I was at. The second time I was going to preach. But at the same time, I had a terrible leg infection. And I knew this was a test, whether I was going to stand up and preach or just sit and just not go at all. But I chose to preach the sermon. I don't deny it was very, very tempting just to uh, stand that day. But I overcame the odds and preached the sermon. Amen. When I came back in, I had to go home that day, but I came back the next day and stayed the next two days. And now, I. I encourage all others to speak the truth, and I and I consistently speak the truth. Amen. And now I can say, am I a common man that does whatever it takes to get to the top, just to be better than anybody else? The answer is no. I can say this: I am a minister like my father. And because of the love of the tr truth from the brethren, I have a voice, a voice of edification, a voice of reason, a voice to, to forgive, and a voice of correction, even if I'm the one in the wrong. And I thank the Lord for giving me a voice for, for the truth. And through the love of the brethren, I can overcome fear and achieve a victory through faith.